So we're going to close this here, then we're going to head over to where it says theme. And if you like the default theme that it gives you right here, you can just keep it. Or if you want to try a new look, you can come over here and click on try a new look. Then you can just go through and scroll down and take a look at all the different templates they have here. And once you decide on the template that you want to use, you can go ahead and select it. And I'm actually going to use this template right here called Bright. So I'm going to click on this select button. And this is what this template looks like if we scroll down. Just to give you an idea. So now what we're going to do is just start editing our site. And like I said before, pretty much everything is drag and drop. So if you click on something like this, for example, the cover, you can change that right here by clicking this. You can add your own image in if you don't like the one that they supplied. If you click on change image, it'll have this page pop up right here. And like I said, you can just drag and drop an image right there and then click on add images and it'll add those images for you. But I think I'm just going to keep this default picture right here because I think it looks pretty good. Or if you don't want it zoomed in so much, you can click on this blur and it'll just give you a smaller image here and then blur this out on the sides. But I'm going to keep it on the fill section. You can also change it to black and white if you like that look better. And then if you click on this advanced editing button, you can zoom in on your image or zoom out. You can put in image description down here and like this says a short image description will improve your site's search engine rankings and allow screen reading tools to describe this image to visually impaired users. So you guys can go ahead and add something there if you want or you can just leave it blank either one is okay.